single women are breaking for Democrats by 30 points. And this makes sense when you think about how Democrat policies are designed to keep women single. Conservatives are looking for a scapegoat following the poor performance of Republican candidates in a midterm election where they should have had a so called red wave. Now that was Jesse Waters starting his argument about single women and who they tend to vote for. Why don't we hear a little more from him and then we'll discuss. Once women get married, they vote Republican. Married women, married men go for Republicans by double digits. But single women and voters under 40 have been captured by Democrats. They're also teaching our children in schools. So you have hardcore Democrat females in school with your kids for eight hours a day. We've seen the videos, we've showed you what they teach in those classrooms too. So there's a brainwashing pipeline that runs through women and children. And it's starting to show up on election day. So we need these ladies to get married. And it's time to fall in love and just settle down. Guys, go put a ring on it. Gee, I wonder what it is about, you know, single women who tend to be younger, not wanting to vote for Republicans who just celebrated the reversal of their reproductive rights who fight to ensure that women don't have control over their own bodies. I wonder what it is, Jenk, I wonder what it is. <laughs> Maybe they should get advice from Jesse Waters, who admitted that he let the air out of the tires of one of his producers whom he wanted to date to basically have her stranded so he can talk to her. I mean, I'm sure he would know exactly what to say to women to persuade them to vote for Republicans. I'm sure, I'm sure. That small little clip had so many amazing parts to it. Yeah. So first of all, uh, he doesn't think how can we uh, appeal to young women, single women, and get their votes, earn their votes, right? He thinks, no, I'm commanding you to get married. Gee, I wonder why they don't find you to be popular, Jesse. Okay, he doesn't empathize with them 1%. He doesn't say, look, look, I know the economic situation is tough, but we have the better policies, etc. No, he says, no, I know if you're single, you suck, okay? So why don't you just get married already? And when you get married, you'll know that you have to vote for us. So do Boy, that's so convincing. Do they get married to men like Jesse Waters, who then cheats on his wife? With the producer who he stranded after letting the air out of the tires, is that the kind of marriage that he's hoping for? What does he care? He doesn't care as long as they vote Republican. Yeah, he's trash. (laughs) Which leads to the second point, which is now Fox News is literally asking you to change your entire life so they could have a bigger political advantage. You need to get married, whether you're a guy who has to put a ring on it or you're one of those annoying single women who has to be taught by her husband to vote Republican. Okay, you need to change your entire life because Jesse Waters isn't getting enough of a tax cut. (laughs) So because Fox News wants a political advantage, you have to do all this. Second of all, it has a birth of a nation vibe to it with, oh, young women have been captured by Democrats. If you remember Birth of a Nation was this horribly racist movie. It was a landmark movie where they would have a white guy dress up in blackface who, and he would go and capture white women, okay? Yeah. So it, it's loathsome in every way. And uh, and notice how he attacked them by saying, they're brainwashing your kids. He's trying to turn all other Americans against single women. Yeah, no, but this is what they do, right? And then you have this Jack Posobiec guy who was on Charlie Kirk's show during the midterm uh, elections. Let's watch that. You saw how unmarried women went for the left in droves, so like 37 points, the 68% win, okay? The left literally wants to turn everyone into an unmarried woman, literally, <laughs> literally. And you know what I mean by that. That's what they want to do because that's how they win. So that shame, that regret, that bitterness, that anger, that's just kind of there, the super pro-abortion vote, that's what they wanna maximize throughout the country. I'm not saying all unmarried women like that, by the way. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. Um, oh, we, but we got a lot of hate earlier when I said that. Okay, good. So it's not just me. Um, anyway, Jenk, take over, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, he just described a single woman as uh, people filled with shame, anger, and bitterness. And then he can't figure out why they don't vote for his side. 
<laughs> I mean, this, that's how dumb these guys are. I mean, they're not just horrible people, they're also very unintelligent. Is that the best way to get their votes, you think, you idiot? Okay, and then uh, if you notice, Jesse Waters also said, voters under 40, we lost them. What did I tell you guys? I told you we own the future and it's making them panic to the point that they're going towards fascism. Because they know they can't win in a democracy because voters under 40 are all progressive. No, that's uh, that's exactly right, which is why, look, they don't believe in persuading voters to join them. They don't believe that they need to have a plan or policy proposals that are appealing to voters. They want to force voters to live in their fantasy world and, and basically do away with whatever rights they have, whether it be voting rights, in the case of women, their bodily autonomy. They want to make people bend to their will. And if that means dismantling our democratic process, of course they're willing to do it. That's what they do. Didn't that post a bayek, post a bitch, whatever that guy's name is, didn't he cheat on his wife too? Oh Yeah, we'll talk about that in the bonus episode. We're running out of time now, unfortunately, because of course we are. That's all we do here at TYT, we run out of time. But we'll talk about it in the bonus for our members. TYT.com slash join to become a member or hit the join button below on YouTube. Apparently we're gonna have a hell of a time, so come join us. Uh, we'll see you there. I just have a real issue with guys like him having any commentary about women and how they need to get married or anything like that because these guys are trash. And I'm not just saying that because of their political beliefs. There are plenty of conservative guys who I don't think are trash, even though I disagree with them politically. But this guy is trash based on how he has treated his own wife. So let's get to that. Um, so. In 2018, a woman by the name of Lindsay Ledford came across uh, Posebeek's profile on um, an online dating site. And this is when he was already married. So let's take a look at that. Oh, yeah, that's definitely him. It's definitely him. Doubt he's 6'2. Nonetheless, Ledford also DM'd with Bumble regarding Posebeek and his history of pushing conspiracy theories and inciting sexual violence against women. Bumble later removed the profile and tweeted at Ledford, thanking her for bringing his account to their attention. She's 100% right that he incited violence, by the way. Less than a week after the 2016 presidential election, a Trump supporter tweeted two photos of an anti-Trump protest in Washington DC in which a hooded figure held up a sign reading rape Melania. So the whole point was, oh my God, look at the left. Like the, look at what they wanna do to Melania, look at how evil they are. Unsurprisingly, the images went viral, but hold on. The rape Melania sign was not the work of an anti-Trump protester at all. Instead, this is what this guy does all the time, according to sources. It was the brainchild of a group of Trump supporters led by Jack Posebeek, one of the organizers of the controversial Deplorable uh, inauguration party and a prominent figure in the pro-Trump internet. Gee, I wonder what it is about single women not really being into you know, this brand of republicanism. Guys who hold up rape Melania signs. Yeah, yeah, it's just weird. And if you're wondering why they said something as absurd as January 6th was actually Antifa, well, wouldn't Antifa be happy that Biden won? No, they're like, no, it was a false flag operation. You know why? Because <laughs> they do false flag operations. Exactly, exactly. Um, now, text messages revealed uh, that Jack and a co-conspirator were brainstorming this idea and the disgusting sign. Uh, so it was all pretty clear that he was behind it. Um, now let's go back to the whole Bumble thing and the fact that he was cheating on, uh, I don't remember if it was his wife or his fiance at the time, but he was in a relationship. Uh, now it's conceivable that this was a fake profile, right? But um, he vehemently denied that it was him when a reporter reached out. Uh, he actually responded with the most needlessly racist way. Um, he's like, that's clearly some troll. I have a hot Eastern European wife, as everyone knows. Oy. <laughs> now, uh, Bumble says that the account is connected to his real Facebook account. Oops. Mm. It has uh, been inactive since 2016. So look, it's okay, you're gonna cheat on your wife. It was his fiance. Okay, yeah. fiance, whatever. So that's not my business, that's your business, okay? And even if they're right wingers, that's your personal, he's not a politician, I don't care, right? But you're gonna put it on your profile up on a public 
dating site? My bad, it was his wife. Okay. So that profile was caught in 2018, he was married in 2017. I just wanted to make sure I got that right. So yeah, he yeah, was married. Yeah, remember you said my Eastern European wife. Yeah, that's right. right. So how like deeply insulting is it to your wife to put it up as a profile? Like, oh, come date me. So, you look, you have an affair, whatever, that's your business, I get it, we're all human, right? But man, that is, if, if you're his wife, that is devastating that he's doing that behind your back. Like kind of rubbing your face in it publicly, it's disgusting. Yeah, so uh, maybe he should worry about his own behavior and you know, less about happily independent women who have no interest in whatever it is he's selling here. <laughs> so, so look, by the way, they're not the only ones doing it, everybody's doing it. Ben Dominic, that's Megan McCain's wife, uh, sorry, husband. I, or wife, okay, whatever you No, want. no, <laughs> it's just a verbal slip up. Anyway, uh, he put out a statement about like how Democratic Party is now just like girl boss power and stuff. So that's the cleaned up version of, uh, oh, it's all they care about is single women. Man, these guys are not bright, man. They're just doing a giant ad for the Democratic Party saying, if you're a single woman, all of us right wingers hate you. We can't stand you and we're all gonna insult you. So go vote for Democrats. Can we also just acknowledge the fact that like getting married doesn't mean that you dispense of your political identity and your values and your principles, like what? No, but fact, that's how they think. You, yeah. I, I don't know how their marriages happen, but like, you know, you date, you get to learn about other people's characteristics and values and principles, and you make a decision about whether or not you want to spend the rest of your life with that person. And through those dates, through those conversations, you're more likely to gravitate toward people that you share values with. So like the idea that like all we need to do is get these single women married and that will solve our political issues is insane. It's very I'm telling like you for the right wing mind that's not at all insane because they think that's when they're taught to behave. And so and they, we showed you that preacher the other day that even said it about Marjorie Taylor Greene. They from in their worldview, the job of the wife is to listen to the orders and the commands of the husband who was put in charge of the family by God. And so, boy, these guys look so appealing to single women. It doesn't look, whether it's single women, younger voters, or minorities. Now, remember how they always say, oh, the immigrants are coming to replace us. And oh, you bring in the immigrants and Republicans can't win. Why can't you win? Why don't you just? Do policies that appeal to everyone, including Latinos and women and younger people. They think, well, no, because we hate those people, we would never help them. Maybe that's why you're losing. But it, they, to them, the idea of getting rid of their hate is unthinkable, unthinkable. It doesn't even occur to them. So that's why they're going on air and going, we have a 37 point differential with young uh, single women. God damn single women. Yeah. They should get married and listen to their goddamn husbands and know their role. Okay, great, say it again, say it again, say it a thousand times. See how it turns out for you. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.